piece of music that I've written for this collaboration between Nozomi Omote and Trichotomy is called Momentary Control. And I think that title for me is a little bit about, well, I think it's a little bit about the compositional process where I certainly feel like there are these moments where you really know what's going on and, and other moments where you, you don't and you're just kind of trying to find your way through through this piece of music and, and work out what's coming next, which I, I you know I like that that feeling of feeling your way through, and, and sometimes things are really clear and other times they're not. But also, I I think about that momentary control in an improvisational sense, where things are so fluid that that there's these moments of control and then moments of, of chaos, and that really for me is is a good way of thinking about improvising and, and group improvising. And so that, that was kind of one of the starting points for me in, in writing the piece. But I think what kind of drives it is there's just these real uh, polyphonic, melodic parts. So there's, there's loads of different melodies happening throughout the piece of music. And, and there's, I don't think there's just one you know, main melody. Probably the, the vibraphone and marimba take most of the, the core melodic duties, but, but even that kind of really moves around. You know, there'll be a section where the marimba is playing the melody and then the vibraphone, and then they'll be moving back and forth. And then later on, the, the piano might have a melodic part. And they're very much kind of woven together. I'm really interested in using these layers because we've got, you know, more, more instruments in this particular ensemble so, you know, using the layers in a way that they can, can overlap and, and combine with each other to create this deeper melodic part because of the way that they interact and, and, and kind of complement each other. So often, I think when you listen to it, there's lots of little melodic parts like um, kind of layering on top that, that interlink and, and work together and kind of come in and out of sync and also kind of you know top and tail each other. So that for me was was a real driver. And I think when I wrote it, I probably started writing at the piano, which I think is, is part of the process with a lot of my pieces. And it actually started with, with some of the, the first melodies that you hear in the first main um, vibraphone melody. And that was a melody I had on the piano, just with some kind of simple harmonic accompaniment. And then, and then it kind of grew out from there and I started looking at ways to create some cross rhythms over that. So th there's a lot of these kind of dotted quaver rhythms over the bar, and, and you, you kind of hear that, that phrase that, that the piano plays actually in the first few bars of the entire piece. The piano plays this repeated chordal motif. And that kind of comes back later in the bass, and it comes back later in the vibraphone and the marimba, that, that kind of um, dotted quaver or, or dotted semi quaver pattern. There's also a, a, a lot of use, I think, of kind of arpeggiating style patterns. Um, I kind of found that was a, a cool thing to do on the vibraphone of the marimba, something fun for the players to work with, little, little cool kind of cells that repeat and arpeggiated patterns that repeat. So there's a lot of those uh, in different groupings as well that sometimes will flow over the bar or sometimes be self-contained in the bars. There's a, a fun kind of part in the middle where it, it breaks back down and there's this little piano interlude uh, of a repeated chordal part and you'll hear it's played with a, a mute piano so so in that part there's some chords and uh, I'm reaching in and holding the piano strings and muting it so just we get a bit of a change in in tone and we get a different sound out of the piano so that's an optional thing it's kind of fun if you've got a grand piano you can easily do that and it creates a a change to how the piano sounds, especially when you combine it with the other instruments. So that's one of the one of the things to look out for. And also, I think overall, thinking about the piece and in terms of how it flows, it it probably works in in the through composed structure. I'm I'm really interested in kind of narrative in writing, and and I, I kind of see the I see a lot of my pieces as as they're a story, and they just kind of evolve from start to finish. So it doesn't go back to, to something that we've heard. It just kind of carries on through to the end of the story. And so there's new sections that, that grow out of old sections. And maybe, you know, you do hear some fragments of parts that came before, but, 
but often it's just it's just kind of growing and changing and and kind of hopefully reaching an end that that's taken you on an interesting journey Thank you.